Hey guys, so it's Tom from Doey here, and this is a Spark Fun Dumpster Dive box. Um, it's been a bit of a while since I ordered it. I am in the UK, so it um, takes a while to get here. Um, here you go. There's the box up close. It's got a Do Not Play on or around written on top and some custom stuff and all that good jazz. Um, so, this is the first time I've opened it, so uh, let's get my scissors out. Nah, let's get my knife out. <laughs> let's get it on the side. Like that. Like that. Like that. And there we go. Always good to have a knife around. So let's see what we've got. There you go, that's my first look inside. So we've got some cool stuff. We have... This, I'll put some pictures over the top. Uh, this is an Olimex development board, AV ARM AVR MSP430 pick. I don't know if that's actually about this board or if that's just a general thing about Olimex. Uh, evaluation board with LCD for Max 2000 racks. Nice, price at $70, bloody hell. Uh, by the way, this board, uh, this box you can get, um, I'll post a link to uh, the page on Spark fun about it, and there's a couple of videos. Um, uh, once, uh, once in a while, I don't know what the actual time frame is. They um, Spark fun give away lots of the stuff they have hanging around in their warehouse, uh, so you can buy this at ten dollars per box. I paid a little bit more because I had to pay for shipping. I think it was about uh, another ten dollars shipping, but twenty dollars is about mm, fifteen pounds probably something like that for us. English people, I don't know what that is in Australian dollars or yen or whatever it is you use. Um, let's have a look at this. Uh, so yeah, you can pick one of these up for ten dollars if you're in the states and ten dollars plus extra if you're anywhere else in the world. Um, and I would highly recommend them. They're they're really really good fun actually. So um, let's see what's in here. This is there you go. This is. Oh, those are really clicky buttons. <laughs> That's got nice clicky buttons. It's got what looks like a um, battery holder, buzzer, JTAG it says there, RS-232 in here, reset. It's got a 30.768 kilohertz crystal, which says to me there's probably a real-time clock in here somewhere. Um, some jumpers just to set stuff. Uh, I think it's 1.8 volt logic it looks like. It's got an SPI port up there. Oh, uh, that's 3.3 volt. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Yeah, just so it's quite a nice board. There you go. That is the the evaluation board with LCD for Max 2000 dash racks. Uh, so I will certainly be doing stuff with that in future. Let's just put that there. We have next up some some connectors of some kind. Good. Always love a connector. Molex, yeah? Is that a Molex connector? Some form of six pin connector there. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, what else do we have here? We have Makey Makey. Oh, no. Yeah, I've heard of Makey Makey. Um, this is a capacitive touch board. So it's got some capacitive touch buttons, buttons on the back. It's got an 80 mega 32U4, so that's the same as Arduino Leonardo up there. USB for power, some of the pins broken out. There you go. Ah, it looks quite good. Yeah. I'll certainly have some fun with that. Ooh. Next up, we have the sparkfun.com Arduino Cellular Shield. Oh, so that's um, a GSM shield, I presume. Yeah, so it's got space for your SIM card here. Um, it uses... Uh, it's yeah, just attached to the shield. I'll have to look at the libraries for that. Hasn't actually got the um, GSM module, but I presume you could buy those, and it's just got the connector on there ready. So uh, that's that. That's certainly going to be some fun. Then we have this. I don't know what this is, but we have it. Let's have a look at what you are. So it is. What, what is it? Sparkfun.com GPS evaluation board. Oh, so I presume this is a GPS. A um, couple of... It's got two ports on it. RS-232, I presume. It's got an extra connector for an external GPS. 
a little battery. I presume the GPS would have real time clocks in them, USB, um, and a power. That's nice. Yeah. So that's the GPS board. Let's just put that away. We have, next up on the list, we have this, which is a rotary encoder, incremental. Uh, cool. I don't know much about rotary encoders, so I have no idea how this works, but uh, we, we have a rotary encoder. That might become useful in a future project. Let's have a look at what else we have. I'm saying the best at last. Um, I just spotted it at the top. <laughs> This is a motor with a gearbox, I presume. Yeah, that's that's a motor with a gearbox. There you go, motor with a gearbox. Next, we have... What are you? What are you? Um, you are... A cone thing. Oh! Oh, I think I know what this is. Is this? Yes, it is. Yes, it's a um, it's a ultrasonic rangefinder. So um, there you go. That's it up close. Just got some pins on the back there. Um, I'll put uh, photos up again. I, I think I said that before. I'll put photos up um, on my website and I'll link that in the description. Um, yes, it is a high resolution weather resistant ultrasonic rangefinder. So um, so that yeah, that that could be very very useful. Like a good rangefinder. Just put that back in there and put that in there. That's just, uh, we have some pieces of plywood. Good, is this for, there you go, that's one piece of plywood and a couple of other pieces of plywood. I don't know what that's for, it could be like a um, spaceship. Yeah, it could be a spaceship. Uh, it's got that, I don't know what that is. I feel like an, an old radio or something. A radio kit? Spaceship kit? I don't know. Anyway, piece of plywood. Good times. We have... Um, let's do that at the bottom. Some connectors, again. Some more connectors. Different type of connectors this time. Always good. Love a good connector, mate. You know. And then we have... Lots of Ethernet ports. Solderable Ethernet ports. If, if I ever need any net ports, I'm sorted. What else have we got in here? Optocoupler? No, not an optocoupler, sorry. Um, optoencoder. There you go. Uh, just a, some tactile switches. You've all seen them before, I don't need to show you them. Some um, CR20, they look like battery holders. That's cool. Uh, is there anything else that I missed? Oh, a CR20 battery. Always good. And then this, which is the TWR-K60N512 low power MCU with USB, Ethernet and security by Freescale Semiconductor. Um, so it contains a K60N512 power system module and USB cable. Quick start guide, getting started DVD, it's got a DVD, that's something I'll never watch. Uh, it's assembled in the USA, USA, USA. <laughs> um, yeah, let's open it up, see what we've got. We have, we have a DVD. Ah oh, yes, the Quick Start DVD. Getting Started DVD. Low power MCU with USB, Ethernet and security. Lots of uh, lovely stuff in there. We have a, a little manual, is that as well? Let's see, let's see what we have here. What do we have? Little manual, what's in here? It's got a, um, a getting to know you page. So it's got all the, um, all the uh, different places things are. So we've got our MK60 N512 VND100 microcontroller. God, couldn't they just name it Dave or something? Oh, all right. Oh, it's part of the Freescale Tower System. Now I've heard of this. Um, so that there, right in that corner, is the Freescale Tower System. Um, it's basically the, you have lots of boxes um, that stack at the side, and they give you well, they give you a tower of lots of different boards. Um, yeah, I've, I've definitely heard of this. So it's got, um, what's it got on it? It's got a potentiometer, uh, and a battery, and a microcontroller, and loads of plugs, and standard microcontroller stuff. 
Um, how to install, la da 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 da. Jumper options, connector options. Good. Show me the hardware. <laughs> Put that down now. So in here we have foam. Good. Love a bit of foam. And there it is. There's the actual board itself. Look at that. Lovely little thing. So uh, yeah, so uh, this will sit in a stack like this. You'll have two pieces here and uh, this will stack and you'll have boards below it like that. There's the back. It's got space for a uh, SD card, I presume. CR20 battery. It's got a couple of crystals. I presume one of them is a real time clock on here. I can't see off the top of my head, but uh, yeah. USB interface, it's got a nice little reset switch. Some LEDs through here. I presume these these look like capacitive touch buttons to me. So um, they have LEDs on the back. So I sold along, yeah, it's got this nice little potentiometer. Yeah, I rather like that. It's definitely worth the uh, $20 I paid for the whole thing. So, um, so yeah, that is a spark fun dumpster dive. I would highly recommend getting them uh, when we're on the next one. I've just, uh, how do I put it all away? <laughs> yeah, I would highly recommend getting them on the next one. They are extremely, extremely good fun. Um, it's like Christmas opening all your stuff. Spark fun dumpster dive. See you guys.